year, we've gone for a slightly left field choice, but a true great British success story. Our winner not only owns a successful used car business, which deals with some of the most desirable cars in the world, but he can count a flourishing design arm, a modified car program, and a new car sales business among his achievements. He started his business in the late 1980s when he set up a small factory in Bradford, building glass fiber components. And by the time he was 19, he already had 30 members of staff. By the time he was 19, so Jack, pay attention. His breakthrough came in 1996 when he saved up and bought the Tallinn in a factory in Italy to manufacture an aftermarket product that he would go on to be famous for. He took out two small adverts in classified car magazines at the time and had sold his entire first shipment before it even hit UK shores. It was then our winner hit the big time. This success buoyed him on to try new and more extravagant projects. The first was to start modifying Range Rovers with unique body kits and aftermarket performance upgrade, all designed and manufactured by his ever-expanding team. His designs became so popular with the rich and famous and used examples to exchange hands for a premium over the unmodified siblings, a rare feat for any car that's been tinkered with. Even Cap suggests his models are worth 12% more than standard cars. His used car dealership specializes in luxurious vehicles. He sold Bugatti Veyrons, Gold Aston Martin Signet, countless Ferraris and Rolls Royces. He has an enviable knack of spotting a bargain and turning a profit on cars that many dealers will balk at considering. These days, his business is made up of a whole array of projects. There's a new car dealership product, project with sites in London and Leeds. He sells 500 new cars and 200 used models a year. He has an in-house design, photography and manufacturing teams and multilingual staff who sell his products across the globe. And any man in the motor trade who's managed to amass a car collection, which includes a Bugatti Veyron with the number plate F1, rumoured to be worth in excess of £10 million alone for the number plate, sitting proudly on it, he deserves a little bit of recognition in our book because he come from nowhere. If you haven't guessed it already, the winner of our Lifetime, Lifetime Achievement Award is a man who claims the road is his catwalk. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Absol Khan of Khan Designs. I'm emotionally excited, just fantastic, thank you. I never realised these sort of goals I'd get to. And, and, and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, to say I'm very blessed, it was a child's hobby, it was my hobby that got me into where I am today. I guess it's a dream come true, so for me, every day is like a brand new day. So you can imagine, if it was a hobby for me, it's a hobby till this day. So if you ask me, how many breaks I have a year? Every day is a break for me. Abzal Khan is, is a true British success story. What that guy's managed to achieve in his, in his lifetime so far is, is absolutely fantastic. From his used car business to having a Bugatti Veyron with an F1 number plate on it, all the way up to his, his design and manufacture of Range Rovers. I, I'm extremely impressed by what that guy's done in, in his lifetime and he should be very, very proud to take home one of our used car awards tonight.